Great Scott. Great Scott. Great Scott. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another fabulous episode of Great Scott. I'm Scotty V. You're not. Today I wanted to talk about the great news, we've known about it for a little while, that Tyler Hecklin will be returning in the season finale of Supergirl. I'm hoping, and I think many of us are hoping, that it's going to be a couple of an episode arc. Maybe the episode before the season finale, and then the season finale, and then hopefully the premiere, and maybe the episode after that. We got two at the beginning of this year, the season two. It was received really, really well. In fact, I didn't hear anybody complain about it. I mean, I personally made some comments regarding the camp the cheese that's not my favorite portrayal of superman although i guess supergirl itself is a much lighter show a bit cheesy at times kind of romantic and uh, mushy at times even the flash crossover episode the, the first one very heartfelt and i actually like that i like a lot of heart i like a lot of emotion winks to the camera and smiles at the camera aren't my big thing although i'm really Enjoying season two. I'm a bit behind. I actually just only now watched Mr. and Mrs. Mixias Pilik episode, and I thought it was great. I love the way they use the character. I love the way they uh, did the whole name backwards thing. I love the way they talked about imps and, and leprechauns and the way they uh, tied it in, saying that it was all beings from the fifth dimension, or at least that's what the beings from there are meant to be like. So the assumption is that these encounters with genies and leprechauns were, in fact, other encounters with people like Mixie. I like that she starts calling him Mixie almost right away. What I don't like, and, and I think I think it's hard to cover on a TV show with live actors, is he was a fairly attractive man with a beard, looked like a regular guy. He wasn't a imp, he wasn't shown small. I thought maybe at some point they might actually show what he really looks like in his other dimension, and this was just a form he took in order to try to trick Supergirl into marrying him. I like that they went to the fortress uh, the reason I wanted to talk about Superman returning is because the fortress, of course, pertains to him. And it's his fortress, but Supergirl keeps using it. The other thing they continue to do on Supergirl is use Superman's list of characters. Started with Jimmy Olsen. And pretty much every enemy that should have been Superman's is now Supergirl's. And this is the first time they've ever seen Mixius Pitlick, which means Superman and all this time he's been here. Same with Metallo. Reactron, seemingly the only one he's had run-ins with, or at least that they've talked about. It's very possible some of these enemies Superman did face in the past, and now they're just here returning to bother Supergirl. But she probably would have known about Mixie unless Superman just didn't tell her, which is kind of a not nice thing to do. But I, uh, I enjoy the statue of Jor-El coming to life. I thought the effects were pretty good. I mean, when you watch it, you can tell it's an effect, and it's on the CW, so they don't have as much money as a big budget movie, but I thought it, it, I mean, I think it's going really well on the CW in terms of what they're able to do. People thought the quality was really going to drop off. Maybe it has a little, I mean, at times you can tell it's definitely a CG model flying around, but I really like what they've done. I'm really happy Hecklin is returning and Callista Flockhart will be seen on the season finale as well. It's just good to know she's still part of the universe. We know they moved to show to Vancouver and Callista couldn't be a part of it because she lives in LA and the show was too expensive to continue producing in LA and it's now on the CW and they don't do shows in LA they do them in Vancouver and being that she's still a part of the universe it's going to be nice to see her return in some sort of a role I, I hope it's an important one and I hope she plays into the plot and I hope she you know I, I liked in the beginning I wasn't sure I was going to like her I liked the way she developed I liked the way she kind of became a mentor and a hero to Kara and I hope we see some more of that. I hope we see some more of their bonding. And maybe we'll see her again throughout the third season a couple of times. I really hope to. I like these people returning. I like that they're continuing to include Superman in the universe when they can, even though they came out and said, we have no plans. It's Supergirl's show. If it works out sometime in the future, we might have him, but we don't plan to have it happen anytime soon. I don't know if they always knew and they were just kind of keeping it a secret for us. Or if they just figured out that it could work and they're going to do it again. But I'm glad they're doing it. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks everybody for watching. And remember, always look up in the sky. I'm hoping that it's... Oh, stupid Fence.
Cat, you are a dog. <laughs>